సో కేటీఆర్ గారు మనం వామ్అప్ సెషన్ అయిపోయింది ఇప్పుడు కొంచెం సీరియస్ సెషన్ వెళ్ళిపోదాము ఓకే సార్ నైన్ అండ్ హాఫ్ ఇయర్స్ ఆఫ్ మీ మీ గవర్నమెంట్లో ఎన్నో స్కీమ్స్ ఎన్నో డెవలప్మెంట్ యాక్టివిటీస్ ఎన్నో చేసుకు తీసుకొచ్చారు అందులో విమెన్ ఇంక్లూజివిటీ అనేది ఏమన్నా ఒక అంశం ఉంటే అది ఏంటి అని మీరు అనుకుంటున్నారు ఈ నైన్ అండ్ హాఫ్ ఇయర్స్లో టు వాట్ ఎక్స్టెంట్ యూ సా దట్ విమెన్ రియలీ గ్రూ ఎక్స్పొనెన్షియలీ the one question i think women need to ask themselves do you want to be exclusive or inclusive inclusive adhi yeah if you ask me what are the things that you've done exclusively for women there's a bunch of things that yeah. hmm. but if it's the larger inclusivity part and what you've done for people at large there's again a huge list of things hmm. that we've done prior to 2014 2014 kante mundu you used to i mean i'm not saying they've completely disappeared i would be lying if i did that yeah. you used to read lot of these horror stories like devara kondalo appade puttina bidda nammukunnaru leda old city lo oka ammayi chinna pillaki oka musli arab sheikh tho pelli chesaru itlanti konni stories unnappudu you really i mean no matter you may not have experienced it personally you may not even be a woman or a girl but you'd be shattered you'd be looking at it and saying on a human level be like what is wrong with our society how can this be right and when you see stories like how women have to feed their uh, children knowing fully well that the water is not potable the water is actually causing fluorosis mm. still you have to give the same water because there's no ch- choice like in nalgonda yenni chusina pudu at a at a very human level at a very primordial uh, human being level homo sapien level you feel very insulted yeah you feel as a government can you not get this basics sorted right so one of the most important things that we have done if you ask me is providing portable drinking water connection to each and every home unfortunately in a country like india it's a shame that 75 years after independence a government has to sit and claim that humne pani pilaya isliye humne kuch chappad phad ke kuch kaam kiya that's a basic thing that somebody has to have done long back but nobody did it but we became the first state in india to have given a portable drinking water connection to each and every one of our 10 million homes and then that inspired prime minister and his government mm. to take up har ghar jal campaign which is a good thing so what we have done for example again memo we launched 200 plus schools for minority uh, 100 plus schools for minority young women mm. initially muslim minority and christian minority pillal kosam mem schools launch chestunappudu some people have told us that you know this is not going to work they said no 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 muslim young women don't come out and stay in residential schools ye to nahi chalega but ksr garu in this he said no it's not the case everybody wants education everybody wants basics to be taken care you're wrong and he went ahead with conviction today i'm happy to report to you all that more than 204 schools have been launched for muslim minorities in which we have nearly 115000 students out of which 57000 are young women Wow. and all of them are getting quality education on each child we spend 1 lakh 20000 rupees mm. we take care of all their basic needs books uh, their clothing their basic needs etc etc everything is taken care of. on each child we spend 10000 rupees per month mm. what this has done is now these young women are cracking neat they're cracking iits nits iims i think you train a woman young yes, women yes, especially yes. I think you are literally training a generation of uh, young women who can literally become the beacons of change and the beacons of hope. So this is something that is that's truly wonderful. That's wonderful. If you ask me that's a true achievement. The other thing is, the other thing is, nijanga kuda Telangana lo healthcare was bad. Okapudu cinema lo paatalu rasaru. Nenu raanu biddo sarkaru dawaka. Dawaka. The government hospital pote champestaru they are bad. Today our institutional deliveries in government institutions have increased from 31% to 61%. Manaku 60% that time. 60% is the first class in case yeah. there are students here. 60% is first class, 70% is distinction. So our goal is to go beyond distinction. And then infant mortality has come down in a big way. Maternal mortality has come down because of these institutional practices. More importantly, hysterectomies have come down. So women's health care and education and education. and participation and i think these are some inclusive things that we have done at large but there's still a long long I, way I, to i i still remember ktr garu 10 years back when i was in the mainstream media nenu coverage cheyadaniki ellappudu chaala traumatic ga undedi chaala baadhakaram ga undedi 
చిన్న చిన్న పిల్లలు తల్లులు అయిపోయి చనిపోయేవాళ్ళు పిల్లలు చనిపోయేవాళ్ళు మెటర్నల్ మొటాలిటీ ఇన్ఫెంట్ మొటాలిటీ అండ్ ఆల్సో మీరు అన్నట్టు షేక్స్కి దుబాయ్ షేక్లకి వాళ్ళకి వీళ్ళకి పెళ్ళిళ్ళు చేసేయటం చిన్న వయసులో ఐ థింక్ ఒక పదేళ్ళుగా అది కనిపించట్లేదు దానికి కారణాలు మీరు అన్నట్టు మీరు ఇంప్రూవ్ మీరు పెట్టిన స్కీమ్స్ అయి ఉండొచ్చు ఆరోగ్యలక్ష్మి కేసీఆర్ కిట్స్ సో మెనీ థింగ్స్ బట్ ఒక విషయం చెప్పండి రెండు వేల పద్నాలుగులో రెండు వేల పద్దెనిమిదిలో ఇప్పుడు రెండు వేల ఇరవై మూడులో మీరు ఏదైతే మ్యాండేట్ పెట్టారు అంటే మీరు మేనిఫెస్టోలో ఇంక్లూడ్ చేసిన విమెన్ ఎక్స్క్లూజివ్ స్కీమ్స్ అనుకుందాం కొన్ని అంటే ఓన్లీ ఎక్స్క్లూజివ్ విమెన్ కోసం అలాంటివి ఏమైనా పెట్టుంటే ఎంతవరకు వాటిని మీరు సాధించగలిగారు ఎన్ని ఇంకా మిగిలిపోయినాయి ఇంకా చేయాల్సినవి ఎంత ఉన్నాయి అంటే ఒకసారి మీరు ఆలోచిస్తే వాట్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు సీ అబౌట్ దిస్ ఇది కామన్ విమెన్ అంటే ఒక సామాన్య మహిళ తెలంగాణలో ఆంధ్రాలో రెండు చోట్ల కూడా వెరీ స్ట్రాంగ్లీ ఫెడరేటెడ్ సెల్ఫ్ హెల్ప్ గ్రూప్స్ ఏవైతే ఉన్నాయో సో ఐ వర్క్ బ్రీఫ్లీ యాజ్ పంచాయతీ రాజ్ మినిస్టర్ ఐ వర్క్ కంటిన్యూ టు వర్క్ యాజ్ మున్సిపల్ మినిస్టర్ సో ఈ రెండు డిపార్ట్మెంట్స్లో వీ హ్యావ్ ల్యాక్స్ ఆఫ్ విమెన్ హు ఆర్ ఫెడరేటెడ్ ఇన్ టు సెల్ఫ్ హెల్ప్ గ్రూప్స్ విమెన్ ఆర్ రన్నింగ్ సమ్ సూపర్ మార్కెట్స్ యాజ్ అ గ్రూప్ విమెన్ ఆర్ రన్నింగ్ సమ్ స్మాల్ బిజినెసెస్ ఇన్ ద రూరల్ హింటర్ల్యాండ్ బట్ అంటే మీరు అనుకున్నది ఇంప్లిమెంట్ చేయలేదు See, I was just, uh, you know, reflecting on this. Yeah. There's this young woman who just walked up to me. Mm. Her name is uh, Amina. I don't know where Amina is. Amina Mahmood. She wrote a book and she wanted to gift it to me. And she says, mind your mirror. <laughs> I was just looking at her name and thinking of, there was an Amina. I don't know, you know this uh, yes. story. Yes. Yes. There Amina. was an Amina in Hyderabad who got married to an Arab sheikh Arab and that sheikh. became worldwide news. And now we have an Amina who's writing books and completely walked up to a minister. <laughs> so that in itself, I think it's a great story. but uh, going back to going back to the manifesto question yes we've done some things mm. we've done a few things but there's a lot more that needs to be done without a question i'm not trying to evade an answer see for instance we did not promise a women university ex- women's exclusive university in the manifesto but we've delivered it mm. we did not man- ma- you know promise a kalyan lakshmi and a shaadi mubarak in our manifesto yes. but we delivered it so manifesto is basically a guiding principle mm. guiding you know a book which basically guides you for governance in the next 5 years but government always has in it to go beyond and above a manifesto and we've done you know things like amma vadi i don't know how many of you are aware of amma vadi amma vadi any concept enti ante literally door step daggarki elli oka pregnant lady ni pick up cheskuni check up ki teesukochi ame kavalsina nutrients anni ichi malli inti daggar digibetti malli tarata delivery kuda institutional delivery ki picking up from the door step and then dropping her again back along with the child at her doorstep this is the most humane thing that i think my government has done mm. as a result institutional deliveries have increased infant mortality has reduced maternal mortality also has reduced and most importantly young women are getting you know the much needed uh, you know nutritious food mm. and the other thing i also will tell you i'm working on something which is interesting and quite exciting i was told by this company when i, I i'm a industries minister so i meet lot of industrialists and companies so bharat serum anukunta company peru they had come to meet me for their expansion etc so we were generally chatting i know china and nadigan you know so what do you guys do what is your product he said we are a women's health care company i said what exactly do you do in women's health care because it's a large subject they said uh, we manufacture one of the vaccines which is very very unique and important which is not in india and we just export it i said what do you mean export it he said any women with a negative blood group mm. like b negative o negative a negative uh, rhesus negative uh, blood group has a 14% more chance of a lot of loss of blood and sometimes unfortunately uh, you know mortality rates are also quite high during pregnancy okay they said this can be avoided if we give this vaccine when they turn adolescent 14 or 15 so now i'm trying to work with them and see how telangana can become the first state in india Okay, wonderful start, uh, wonderful vaccine <laughs> even if you save a few lives yeah. i think it's useful so these are the things i mean yeah. governance is not just about you know being static yeah. you have to be dynamic you have to understand what the world is doing what are the best practices across the world how can you pick yeah. them up and how can you imbibe and do some of those hi everyone this is so much please uh, subscribe jsw tv jsw tv jsw tv jsw tv jsw tv jsw tv please sign in uplet please sign up for uplet uplet app sign in avandi rakta danam chey